All right, so we have our grain maker model number 99 uh, grain mill all hooked up here. This is completely improvised. Uh, the mill, of course, is right here, and we put it on our old honey spinner stand just for now. And I kind of just threw this contraption together. There's an old uh, kind of bike training stand that we found at a on the side of the road that somebody was selling that we got for like 20 bucks or something like that. So we hooked the old mill up to that with, let's see here if I can get a better angle, with a simple chain from a flea market they've got, which is right here. So that one goes on to one of the sprockets while the main drive is still connected on another one of the sprockets. So. That, the trick with all this was trying to get all these uh, corners down here straight so that this part didn't pull back when we were trying to turn the thing. And the part that actually drives the belt and pulley right here is an old kid's bike wheel. So the drive shaft comes around here. And then on the other side, we found this at a flea market too. And it's just a, a V-belt pulley where, uh, Holly, can you turn it like a half revolution? Okay, stop. Uh, this guy right here is a set screw, and that goes in and clamps onto the bicycle wheel shaft. Now, the interesting thing about that is, again, Holly, can you pedal? I don't know if you can see it very well here, but you hear that little smacking sound? That's because the shaft here is too small for this diameter hole, so it kind of makes it unlevel and make, causes the whole thing to kind of, I guess, push this way and then back a little bit. But it still does a trick, so if you want to grind and actually pedal it, you can see that the actual noise is being made by this part right here when she pedals and kind of just quickly slams back over there. But in the end, it does do the trick and grinds grind, and over here, without a lot of effort, you get your green coming out. And then pretty lined up straight from this way. Okay, you can stop. All right, and this piece right here just keeps the entire thing from kind of shifting around the corner here because this belt puts a force on it which wants to pull it towards the wall. So if you have this piece here, that stops that. And this other piece right here keeps it from pulling up towards the bike rider. So that's that. And then the actual grain maker itself is just screwed onto a board here. And that board is clamped onto this little other shelf here, which again, you can make anything you want to, but I just threw a couple of pieces of pallet wood together and uh, kind of slapped it all together with a few screws and uh, that's about it. And this belt right here is a V-belt from the lawnmower. Um, as you can see, there's another one over here on the ground. Basically old lawnmower belt that I was just trying to get to fit uh, to work. So completely repurposed, scrapped up piece of thing. I think in the end, it might've cost me 25 or 30 bucks. So that's all we have for you.